Hello everyone, so in today's video I wanted to show what is uh, necessary in order to add a shadow to your characters in Maya. So for example, if you are adding a character or a model to your portfolio, a lot of times you'll want to use Maya's background or your own background in Photoshop, but sometimes you do want to render out the shadow. So is there a way to sort of uh, you know, have like a shadow catcher uh, situation where you can just have the ground render the shadow but not the background. How do you do that? All right, so let's jump into this. And uh, this is the character that I just uh, built. It took me about three days and I built this for my uh, portfolio uh, on ArtStation. So uh, feel free to check it out or follow me uh, there as well. And let me uh, show you how this works. So for um, for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this ground and kind of start from scratch, right? So let's say you have a character um, and you set up your lighting. So in my case, I'm using Arnold Render and I have a Sky Dome light and I have three um, area lights just set up around the character. So I'm going to grab a plane and just simply add a plane to uh, my scene. And what I need to do in my case is my shoes are kind of thick, so I'm just going to lower this a little bit and maybe position it a little better. Uh, if we wanted to, we can make it a little larger, whatever you like, right? I'm going to right click and go to assign new material. Um, and here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Arnold and in my search box, I'm just going to type in the word shadow. And as you can see, um, AI shadow mat comes up. So I'm going to click on it and that will assign the material to my ground and if i wanted to i can also call, call this ai uh, shadow maybe so it's easier for me to find it i'm now going to click on the actual mesh and let's go to um, attribute editor and, just, and find the uh, plane shape and in here what you need to do is you need to deselect this opaque uh, checkbox so what that's going to do is it's going to tell maya that hey this ground uh, should be you know, transparent, and this is gonna tell it uh, to catch the shadow, right? So now, uh, technically, if I render this out, the character should just be rendered with the shadow and uh, nothing else. Let's try this. All right, very nice. So this is exactly what I was looking for. You can see that the shadow is being rendered and the uh, background is actually uh, not part, as you can see, there's no background here, right? So the background is coming from, uh, in case you wanna set up something similar, uh, my background is coming from the Arnold uh, render under environment. I set up an uh, AI uh, switch and this has a uh, camera uh, background assigned to it. And you can see it's just a gradient. So that's what that rendering is. But in the uh, actual render, it's just gonna be the character with the floor, which is perfect. The only other tip that I have for you guys um, is if you have multiple lights, a lot of times the uh, lights, each light is gonna have its own shadows. So sometimes if you have a lot of different shadows um, on the ground, you might wanna control which one you uh, you know want to render out while excluding the other ones. So to control this, what you can do is you can select your mesh and then go to uh, Windows and then go to Relationship Editors and go to Light Linking and click on Light Centric. So what that's going to do is going to give you a list of all of your models in your scene. You can see uh, mine are right here. And if I select the plane, right, so the name of my floor at this point is just called plane, right? So that's what this is right here. If I uh, click on the light, it's going to show me which uh, models are being affected by this light. So in my case, if I click on the sky dome, you can see that everything um, is being affected. So, so here's my um, shadow, right? I do want to include the sky dome light. But for example, let's say maybe for whatever reason, I don't want the these other lights to be uh, casting uh, shadows. So for that, all I um, need to do is just simply click on my uh, floor and say, hey, you know, include uh, exclude that from casting uh, shadows, right? So now at this point, I only have the sky dome casting shadows. All right, so just a little tip in case you want to be in more of a control 
of your lights and shadows in the final render. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. And I would love to see a comment from you as well to let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time.